and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And here we have Zenit St. Petersburg against Real Madrid. I'm Peter Drury, and seated in the experts' hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. And so the distinctive sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. the lineups we've just been given So we're up and running. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Well, it'll have to be the Brazilian Hulk. He has the physique to play as a centre-forward, but for me, he's always a little more effective in wider areas where he can isolate his full-back or, or cut inside. And whether from open play or a free kick, he can thump a football. Not to disagree with that, it is the sort of situation he thrives in. Danny with the ball through. Witzel is flagged offside. So what now? And it's James Rodriguez. Cristiano Ronaldo. Iaramendi. Wide now. Here's the cross. Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Tony Crows would have known he needed to generate more power behind that, but it just lacked the precision anyway. He's had a shot. He's come loose. Witzel tries the route one option. Hammers. Tony Crows. Zenit St. Petersburg emerge unscathed, they were right up against it. Steered out wide. Tries a through ball. If you have just joined us, well, we've missed no goals. Oh, he's come flying in. Bale. Bales cross. Goal! Real Madrid! A lovely header, but really it was all about the delivery. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Real Madrid take the lead. 
Listen, it's no surprise to me as to who scored the goal. When you look through this team, he's the standout performer with a, a whole repertoire of different talents. He'll do for me every time. Into the channel. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. And it's Benzema. Cuts it out. Bishito. So they've got the only goal to give them a 1 0 lead. Now the pass. He's had a good look and given a corner. Hulk plays it short. There are a few waiting for it. Really didn't have enough to concern the defence. Tavi Garcia, now it's Bitzel. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. And he gobbles up the chance! And it's another really good show of character. I love the spirit and togetherness they muster. Never know when they're beaten. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, in a tight game like this, there was always going to be little to separate them, but he really made that count. Bale. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? He's there to get rid. James Rodriguez passes it through. A oh, glorious footwork. Yaramendi. Goes wide. Now here's the through ball. He's gone for it! Goal! Real Madrid! And they get themselves in front! Absolutely thundered in. Keeper, no chance. Yeah, I just thought he made great use of his upper body there. It would have taken something really special to keep that in. Real Madrid go into the lead. That's Hulk. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Out to the flank. Away from immediate danger. Big chance, corner. forward what an adventurous run from a defender cut out in the nick of time Tony Kroos Iaramendi pumps it forwards Like a good ball through. Hammers. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Real Madrid head into the half time break with a narrow advantage. It is 2 1.
another 45 minutes. Looks to slip it through. Cristiano Ronaldo! Mitzel tries a through ball. Deftly done. Goalkeeper's ball. James Rodriguez. Marcelo. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Cushito. Mitzel. Danikov. Polk. To stroke it through. Sergio Ramos. Yaramendi. Bale. Rafael Baran. Tony Cruz. Marcelo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Yaramendi. Rafael Varane with the ball through. Danyukov. Polk. He's in at St. Petersburg. Keep the ball. That's clear cut. It's a free kick. And he's going to have his name taken. before the ball was lost. Easy to say from up here, I know. Real Madrid still have two substitutions up their sleeve. Looks to dink one in. Oh, he's not going to get that. Real Madrid have decided now is the time to make their final change. Vitzel. Kadira. Aimed long and direct. Zenit St. Petersburg somehow escaped the danger. That was a tight call, though. Now it's Danny. Now the pass. Danny gets into some space. This is promising. Oh, great ball! Danger averted for now. It was a little difficult for him to pick exactly the right option there. There were so many in the box. I don't think we should be totally surprised that he actually went for the shot in the end. Mishito. Danikov. And it's Hulk. Hulk passes it through. Looks like a good ball through. Can he put it away? It's gone a long way up and away. Turns and goes back. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Modric. Tavi Garcia. Looks towards the front. Rafael Baran does well there. Alert. Bale tries to get it forward quickly. Managed to get himself offside. 
may look like a predictable long ball forward, but it's it's very effective, and the run just needs a slight tweak to beat the offside. They look as though they can make this come together. Tony Cross pumps it upfield. Witzel. Tries a through ball. He's got it, and he's got time. And that could come back to haunt them. Oh, that could prove a pivotal moment in this match. They needed that goal badly, you know. Tony Cruz. Modric. Benzema. And it's Katira. Real Madrid get it back again. has got good distance on that. Well, time is running out. They need to get the ball on field. Real Madrid just have to run down the clock. Bale. He's dealt with that well. Bale passes it through. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Lombards. Balls out on the left, now. Got side that time. Who's going to make this theirs? Keeper's ball. And that is that. Well, whatever the shortcomings on either side, it was a great game to watch. Just one between them. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, qualification may have been confirmed with a game to spare, but they were determined to end on a high, almost as if they're sending a message to say, we're not backing off on this, we want it.